Hi everyone, Olivia Reiner here for Packers News, joined by Jim Ozarski and Ryan Wood. It is the first practice today in the Joe Philbin era. A lot has gone on in the past 48 hours or so. We saw associate head coach, coach Winston Moss released. Uh, what did Joe Philbin have to say about that? And I know Aaron Rodgers also addressed that. And I'd like to hear a little bit about sort of what you made of all of this discussion today. Well, yeah, first practice of the Joe Philbin era without Winston Moss. And Joe Philbin said it wasn't because of the tweet that Winston Moss sent yesterday. But the tweet that Winston Moss sent yesterday made it really, really difficult for him to be con continued to, to, to be employable by the Green Bay Packers because he said you don't need the offensive guru to be the head coach. You need a great leader. And then he went on to say that you need someone suggested that, that they can keep Aaron Rodgers accountable, uh, suggesting that he hasn't been held accountable. Now, Aaron Rodgers, I, I asked him today if you know, two days ago he said that it's important to have someone to hold him accountable. If that's happened, in his opinion, in the past, that's a priority of the next head coach. And Aaron Rodgers said that he feels that Mike McCarthy did hold him accountable, that he has in the past told Mike McCarthy, if you need to call someone out in the meetings, start with me uh, to set that, that standard that no one is off limits. Um, now, if you watch the offense and, and how off schedule the offense became, I think that you know there's a reason why, why people outside the organization question whether that has happened. I think it's interesting when you see someone inside the organization question that happened. But Aaron Rodgers said that, in his opinion, that hasn't been a problem. Joe Philbin said it wasn't the tweet. It just wasn't a good fit right now with, with Winston Moss and this organization. So another change that's going to be happening this, this, uh, for the rest of the season yeah. is that Joe Philbin is going to be calling the plays yeah. now. He mentioned today that this is going to be the first time in 20 years yeah. that he'll be doing the play calling. What else did he have to say about, about the play calling? Yeah, that's interesting uh, you know, because he's had the title of offensive coordinator not just this year, but he was an offensive head coach in Miami. Uh, an offensive coordinator here previously, but yeah, he's going back to his college days at Northeastern as a play caller, and you know, it, you got to knock some rust off at that point. And and he even mentioned it's about the sequence of events and and the, the sort of the gut feeling, I guess, of of what he feels good about in a particular moment. Um, you know, in terms of practice, there was a little bit of a change. I mean, Mercedes Lewis said it was more up to what he's been used to in previous stops, or a little faster pace between periods, um, no big chunks of special teams that had guys kind of standing around. So just some little things, um, you know, almost 100% uh, participation in Tuesday's voluntary uh, weightlifting session. And, and Aaron Rodgers says, look, Joe Philbin came in Monday and emphasized little details at the beginning of the week. And he would have hoped to have seen that sort of response from the team. And Joe Philbin has so far. So yeah, Sunday is going to Hold some surprises. Mercedes Lewis did say he's like, I'm just as curious to see how Joe Philbin calls plays as the rest of us are. Yeah, well, we'll certainly see. We'll yeah. see how the rest of uh, the week of practice pans out. We will be with you guys every step of the way heading up to the game against the Falcons on Sunday. So please be sure to stay tuned in to Packers News. Thanks for joining us.